loves welcome back to my channel um today's video is a little update on my VSG journey um well as you guys can see the title of the video I received my date um before I get into what the date will be I want to talk a little bit about the journey so far the journey has been long, extremely, extremely long. Um, let's see, where do I begin? Back in September or August, one of those two, um, is when I started, I got my second consultation. Uh, my first consultation was last year. I wasn't ready. I got cold feet. Listening to other people, got cold feet. Now, uh, this time around, 2017, I made up my mind. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I did a lot of studies on the gastric sleeve. And that kind of made me feel more comfortable in getting the sur surgery finally. And once my best friend did it too, we're both like punks. We're scared of everything. So once she did it, it just made me want to do it even more. So, went to my consultation. They explained to me that I had so many different um, medical clearances that I had to do. Let's see. I started from doing upper, G upper GI and abdominal sonogram. I went to the cardiologist. cardiologist. I had an echo and I had a stress test. Um, I had to go home with the heart monitor for 24 hours. Um, I did pulmonary breathing test. I did a sleep study. Let's talk about that sleep study because I could not sleep for that sleep study. I'm surprised that they actually got everything read because I did not sleep. <laughs> so, but it just so happened that I did not have sleep apnea, thank God, and I did not have to go home with uh, the machine. I think it's called a CPAP machine. Um, after that, um, let's talk about Christmas time. Christmas time came along and I ate. <laughs> I ate for Christmas. Um, I gained maybe 11, not 11, I think 9 pounds, 9 pounds I gained during Christmas. And it's so funny, the week after Christmas was my fourth month weigh-in. Yes, weigh in at the nutritionist. Because with my insurance, I have to wait a six month period for the medical clearances. A lot of different insurances actually, they may do maybe two months, maybe four months, but the ones that I have known of and the ones that take my insurance, they do the six months. But I've had people um, with experiences that had way shorter months to do um, than myself. Um, so the mother of Christmas, I ate, my mom cooked good, <laughs> and I ate everything, everything, and, um, I realized that, okay, I knew I was going in to be weighed the following week, and I knew I was going to gain the weight, and I felt it, I still felt full after Christmas a week later, it's funny, <laughs> but, um, I got there, and I did gain, and, once I left there, I said to myself, you know what, I am not coming back here and gaining another pound when she weighs me. I am not doing it. So I said to myself, once the new year hits, you know, that new year's resolution, we're going to lose weight, we're going to work out. But me, I was determined. Um, so yes, the new year came in and I ate right. I cut down my portion sizes. I ate my protein, my veggies. Um, my my trick I can say that really helped me lose that weight was lemon water. I drank lemon water consistently um, every day. I stopped eating my I stopped eating every day after 6 p.m. If I was hungry, I would drink the lemon water. I would drink the lemon water and everything. Um, and I would try not to go to sleep so late, but that's my issue. I would go to sleep late every night. Up watching YouTube videos, that's my life, clearly. 
Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I've been working out. I have a bicycle at my house. So I've been doing the bicycle and I've also been doing like some arm and leg movements as well on my own for about 20 minutes. Um, and I did 30 minutes on the bicycle every day. Um, so the next month comes in and I had my uh, fifth month weigh in and I lost 11 pounds. Yay! Um, also, um, um, in January, that's when I had my endoscopy. The endoscopy was one of the testing that I had to do as well, as well as. A psych evaluation um, it's it was so many things I hope I'm not missing anything um, abdominal sonogram upper GI um, cardiologist endoscopy pulmonary um, medical clearance from your doctor lab work yeah that's it so far right, and, and in six months um, monthly weigh-ins with a nutritionist and you also had to get a dietary evaluation as well um and let me tell you finding these doctors and things like that was wasn't easy at all they do give you a list of different doctors but some of them do not take your insurance and you may have to pay out of pocket i never had to pay out of pocket i only paid out of pocket was for the nutritionist because the nutritionist that I knew she was the one that gave us that that weigh in every six months and also she is who I knew you know she knew me and I knew her so I felt comfortable um, paying her nutritionists are very expensive um, some range from two to three hundred dollars it's well worth it um, I knew her um, she gave me so much insight on what to do and what to expect for that two-week liquid diet um, so once completed that um, I am now completed my whole six month of weighing when I weighed in for my six month um, my weight remained the same but it's normal because when you are a woman and you're about to get that time of the month you have a lot of water weight um, but now I lost that water weight and I lost another six pounds so which is good <laughs> so I don't know if I should say expect that water weight to kind of make you gain that weight um, for those um, on the pre the pre-op situation um, so yeah um, the endoscopy I was super scared for the endoscopy this just the thought of going to sleep I already knew that I had to go to sleep for this surgery and just the thought of going to sleep I said you know what Sabrina you have to be brave you have to do this because this is gonna kind of give you a feel on what to expect from the actual surgery itself so um, my mom went with me um, to the endoscopy I did it in the hospital um, and I remember nothing but I can honestly say that was the best sleep of my entire life like <laughs> I I slept so good all I remember was them prepping me uh, they wheeled me into the the proce procedure room and they said um, okay Sabrina we're gonna give you a little oxygen but <laughs> I don't think that was oxygen I think that was the anesthesia and um, I remember putting the oxygen on and then they tell me to turn on my left side. So I turn on my left side and then I remember closing my eyes. A couple seconds later, well it felt like a couple seconds later, I get tapped. Sabrina, we're done. So I'm like, oh. And I got out of anesthesia so good. I was a little nervous because being that I had a c-section with my son and I was so nauseous after and didn't really take it so well I was a little nervous about that coming out of the endoscopy with the anesthesia but I was perfectly fine um, what else after that now with the endoscopy it's a lot of things with the endoscopy testing um, a lot of people may have um, 
the doctors may find bacteria in your stomach the doctors may not find bacteria in your stomach me I it just so happened that I did have the bacteria in my stomach and I did have to take um, medication for two weeks for it it was terrible but it's a good thing that I went I feel good that I went because I would have never known that I had that bacteria in my stomach so um so took the medication for that and now everything is clear um so surgery date once everything was processed in um to the surgeon's assistant um you call basically and you just find out what are the next steps to the surgery and the next steps were I, th this totally caught me off guard matter of fact I call him and I ask him you know have you received all my paperwork he says yes um, he was mainly looking for that psych evaluation and let me tell you that psych evaluation is no joke they question you so much they really want you to they really want to make sure that you're ready for the surgery like it's no the questions are so personal but yet that's their job they have to do that so totally understand but sometimes I was uncomfortable but sometimes I felt comfortable and it's so crazy because the psych that the psychologist that I had she also went through with uh, the surgery so it was just like the perfect package um, so she was a lot of, she was a lot understanding on how I felt or what to experience from this whole uh, situation um, yes so once everything was in uh, you I called the, the doctor's assistant and um, asked him where I go from here and t in two twos I'm sorry I say two twos <laughs> in two twos he says to me okay your surgery date will be March 27th 2018 so I go, are you serious? He says, yes. That is the available date that he has as of right now. Now me, I was trying to push for something sooner, but I think it's made just right that I have the surgery at the end of next month because it gives me some time. It gives me some time to prep, it gives me some time to lose more weight. It just gives me more time. And um, so that's where I am right now. My surgery date will be March 27th 2018 now on the 12th of March they have like things basically to prep you for surgery um, I believe you have to sign off on basically um, agreeing to the surgery I guess um, sign your name and everything and sign off for surgery and basically they're gonna uh, prep you and tell you what to do for the pre the two week liquid diet which I already have from the nutritionist which is a big help because I was so confused on what to actually do for those two weeks I've seen uh, family members and things like that and YouTube videos on the, the liquid diet but I'm glad that they actually gave me um, the the things on what to eat and what to have and actually the timing of it it's, it works so perfectly so I'm glad I got that um, but overall, um, and also the 12th, I will find out what time I go in. I will record that day, um, of surgery, but I am, I have mixed emotions with everything. I'm, I don't know, it's like, I'm happy, I'm excited, yet super nervous. Just the whole thought of surgery and ugh, you know what I really hate it's not even the fact of going to sleep and being asleep in surgery it's the breathing tube like just having something down my throat makes me feel like like I get like I have a, like a panicky like I get like so panicky like but seeing the videos that I've seen and what I've heard they say you don't even feel it <laughs> you don't even feel it you don't even know what's there you don't even know when it comes out you don't even know if you had it or not in then your throat but of course you will have it because you need to but um yeah so that's just like the only part and 
I'm not looking forward to the pain. Um, who is a lot of people I've seen. This is show that I have been watching on TLC. It's called Family by the Ton. That show is so good. Um, basically, three people out. Three. Three people? Yeah. Three people out of the family had the gastric sleeve surgery and it's basically just showing their journey and then after they had the surgery of how great they look now and that show has been such a help. Such a help and um like three of them three of them? No, four of them had the surgery, but three of them had no pain, had no nothing. They felt like soreness, but no pain. They came out like nothing. One of the girls even said, did I even have a surgery? So it was just like, wow, like, I hope I'm like that. I really hope I'm like that. But um, that's another thing, too. Like, my sister, my sister bounced right back um, from it as well. I want to I wanna be like that. So um, I just hope all goes well. Um... I'll probably have somebody recording for me that day. I'll try to record as much as I can, but I just want to stay focused and say my prayers, have my Bible with me, and um, go into surgery. So um, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's been a long six months. Um, I've changed a lot about my diet, basically preparing myself for this change that's about to happen so um i'm ready and we'll see how things go um i have my pre-op meeting my last meeting my mandatory meeting actually before surgery next tuesday oh my god i would, I would love to actually bring you guys along I'm not sure if I can record in there. I'm going to try. <laughs> but I'm excited for that. I'm excited to hear what they have to say or what is the expectations um, for the surgery. I believe they talk about like what to bring in the hospital or how the hospital is going to be. Basically step by step process of how everything is going to be. Um, so that is it you guys i have my surgery date finally after a long six months it is march 27th 2018 and i'm ready i'm ready for the change um it's gonna be a good change it's gonna be a good change a healthier change so that is it you guys thank you for coming back to my channel